Holy. Hello, everybody. So today I installed the Demon Slayer mod for Terraria, which adds some crazy things into the game like this. But before we get to that, we need a basic sword. I made some speed houses, got the recipe for the first sword and mined some iron. Now, although this sword is weak, it is the precursor to the planetary annihilation that was to come. Before getting some more Demon Slayer mod stuff, I got some Hermes boots on my first gold chest, which is crazy. Blew myself up. Oh my. Got a bunch of gold or adopted a pet shark. And when the merchant arrived, I bought myself a spare piggy bank. Now, why a spare? Well, that's because I needed to make the boar hat that Inosuke uses. Fly defense. Increases all damage by 10%. Increases regenerate by 10. Sheesh. <laughs> I then got a grappling hook and full golden armor, which is actually freaking insane because it usually takes me an entire high school quarter to get gold armor. But before leaving this ass perking crafting session, I wanted to make Tanjiro's Hanafuda earrings. I mean, we had all the materials, and if you didn't know, those things are pretty fire looking. And these things are going to give a large boost to our Tinker's Workshop. No, we need a Tinker's Workshop. Anyway, since this is 1.4, I began setting civilization at the desert because starting the pylon system early on would be a fantastic idea. Yay, civilization! Now, I'm not gonna lie, at this point, we were basically overprepared for the Eye of Cthulhu. But guess what? I like to think of the human ego as an immeasurable cup of disgusting apple cider, and mine is expired. So I walked over to the dungeon to try to get the water bowl, because there was actually a sword that needed the water bowl, and it's called Awa Breathing. Okay, it's referred to as Vapor Breathing in the patch notes, but that way we don't have to melee the eye of Cthulhu. I can't. Well, there goes the apple cider ego. That's just fine. We'll just do the King Slime first, and... That was pretty easy. Well, to be fair, the King Slime did give me some difficulty, but this sword is relatively larger than I expected. So props to that. And because of my dear King Slime, I gained the lukewarm, titty-milking, socking confidence to challenge the Eye of Cthulhu. And let me just say, there were some minor difficulties. <laughs> but to be fair, you can't swim without the risk of drowning. Now, I do want to preface this video. Okay, kind of late to do that. But like my other playthroughs, I only want to beat this mod with only Demon Slayer mod weapons, which might be troublesome because we are still kind of stuck with this wooden baton, which believe it or not, poses a jaw-droppingly enormous problem because we need to make the Wawa breathing style, aka vapor breathing style sword. But in order to do that, we need the water bolt, which we can't get it. So we need to beat Skeletron. And I'm not really the best at Skeletron, but luckily for me, I got this notification. Oh! Yes! Wait, yes! That's what I needed! What the fuck? That's right, my dear con balls. If I could successfully defeat the goblin army, then I could get the goblin tinkerer, which could give me the tinkerer's workshop, which would let me craft the Hanafuda earrings that I couldn't craft earlier, which, by the way, increases your damage by 25%. Unfortunately, the goblin army was a little bit more difficult than I thought. Turns out they actually had arms and legs and could do something called fight back. Now, when I do get the tinkerer's workshop, we actually needed to get more materials for these other accessories called Demon Slayer rank patches. If you never watched Demon Slayer, which is kind of weird, basically there are ranks determining the level of your demon slaying capabilities. You can upgrade this patch as you progress, so getting one as early on as possible is going to be very beneficial. But to craft the initial patch was kind of a problem. Uh, we needed a demon banner, and if you've never played Terraria, demons are assholes. To get a demon banner, we needed to kill 50 demons, and that's kind of tough because demons are relatively strong. Even though you can kind of kill at least a few of them, they kind of spawn not too common. Yes, one. 49 to go. <laughs> like, if you wanted to kill 50 demons in one sitting, you're gonna have to dedicate some time into that. And I wasn't ready for this to become a dedication. I wasn't ready for this to become a commitment. So because I'm scared of commitment, I decided to go to the jungle and take a walk around to see if I could find anything, anything at all. And well, I did. <gasps> yes! I can't buy it! F With the Goblin Tinkerer, I made the Hanafuda earrings, which granted me a delicious 25 increase to holy shit. That's a lot of stuff right there. And then after that, I crafted some Frostbark boots, but that's not really important. So now, I, I, I gotta say, this wooden stick that we have, it's kind of more of a wooden log with the amount of buffs that we had. Now, even though I had all of these buffs, the next boss is Skeletron. Well, actually, technically, the next boss is Brain of Cthulhu, but for some reason, I completely forgot about that because I wanted to get the Water Bolt to get the Vapor Breathing. But moral of the story is Bone Man is is hard must get stronger so i ended up establishing the forest pylon and went straight to the jungle to find some feral claws please what the fuck seaweed yes and then after that i went to the dungeon and began setting up my arena now before fighting skeletron i decided to farm the eye of cthulhu for some money why because we live in a capitalist society, and I need to give my money to the goblin to reforge my sword. Now, if you didn't know, Skeletron is actually a bitch to fight. All right, let's do this, gamers. After this boss, I can be like Tanjiro Kun. Please come down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We can do this for the Mizuno Kokyo Ichi no Kata. Brrr. 
Bruh! First try. <laughs> I wasn't worried. After defeating Skeletron, I was easily able to find the water bolt in the dungeon, and I was able to craft the Wawa breathing style. And wow, the breathing style. Wawa. Oh my gosh. Infinite projectiles? All right, what about the right click? I just want to say this upgrade was worthwhile and insane because not only do we have weapon projectiles coming out of our sword, but we can right click to have water bolt projectiles. So yeah, I was excited because not gonna lie, I was tired of getting my ass handed to me by these master mode slimes. With this, I went straight into the crimson to challenge the brain of Cthulhu and holy crap, I was so right. over prepared. I felt like I was smacking a full grown turkey with chalked up titanium gauntlets. After that i crafted some crimteen armor made a deathbringer pickaxe and then hid in a hole because i wanted to get some more npcs to spawn now while in the hole i started brainstorming some ideas because i wanted to farm some more demons to get that demon banner for the patch accessory but before that of course i want to get my favorite quality of life item the battle cry which if you didn't know increases spawn rates because i am not going to wait that long for 50 demons to spawn in a regular vanilla way because if i did that keep in mind it would take so long that it would feel like i would have to watch my first born child graduate college and then have three kids that all want money from me yeah that's not happening but the problem is making the battle cry takes a while and well luckily for me a while passed it was pretty easy i just farmed for money and bought all the materials which if you didn't know are like water candles battle potions yeah but you know what took more than a while getting this demon banner and i mean a while while i sat there okay for 30 minutes circling around killing demons and i'm not even including all of the times that i died and had to walk back and down to the underworld and circle and walk around thinking like yeah this is worth it i'm gonna get a demon patch Woo! Well, there's 30 minutes of my life I'm never getting back. Anyway, at least we have a patch. Yes! Yes! Eat these nuts! Finally. Oh, uh, make some silk. And now we can make Mizunoto rank patch. Wait. 5%. 5%. That's it. How do you upgrade it? Mizunoe. We need another banner. Um, I'll just keep it on. You know, it's cute. And let's just fight the wall of flesh. At least fighting the wall of flesh is going to be pretty easy. I mean, we have long range, amazing DPS, amazing potion effects. What could go wrong? Yeah, I forgot to make some door openings. Let's retry that. All right, this should be far enough. Let's do it. Yeet, 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 yeet. Now the plot armor is on my side. Oh! Die! Yeah! Yay! Now we're in hard mode. Unfortunately, if you can't tell, my excitement was immediately killed. Here's the thing. You see these recipes on the side of my screen? I've been saving these for the entire game. I thought these recipes were going to be my saving grace. Once I get into hard mode, I can craft these much better weapons because they involve the very simple materials. These swords, which I thought were swords I already had, are not obtainable yet. These recipes required water and wind breathing. I have Wawa breathing. So I wasn't really sure on how to get these two swords, but it turns out after reading the patch notes, I actually have to wait for Rank Goku to spawn. Yeah, either way, we just have to wait. In the meantime, I didn't want to sit down and do nothing, so I was going to do some chores. I went ahead, crafted a molten pickaxe, and went to go gather some hard mode ores. Now, before I craft full adamantite armor for melee class, let me tell you a quick story. Once upon a time, my cat vomited. No, oh, I got the armor. I put on the armor and I went to go fight some demons in hell, but eventually Ren Goku just arrived. Senjuro! Ember breathing style and the Wawa breathing style. I already crafted this, so let's get this. We were supposed to craft this pre hard mode, but I never did. This is kind of fire. Get it? <laughs> Now, as it turns out, I actually have to do something before receiving new weapons. I have to kill more bosses before receiving these new breathing styles. So I bought what I could buy, which is Rengoku's cloak, and it looked kind of pretty sick. It had some pretty good buffs. And I went to go kill some things, like the Queen Bee, who didn't even drop a new breathing style. Sorry, Queen Bee. Turns out you actually have to fight some hard mode bosses, so I went to go instead farm for the Power Glove, and eventually to get some wings, because that's going to be scary. Those, those fights are going to be scary. I, I don't have PTSD from Fargo Soul Mod. So let's go bully the Queen Slime instead. I went ahead and farmed the wall of flesh to get the goat skull because I love the goat skull and we're playing in master mode So I'm taking advantage of every master mode drop I could possibly get I was able to locate the queen slime crystal and oh man This fight was a little bit more nerve-wracking than I thought I'm not gonna lie I thought I had it in the bag, but I was kind of clenching a little in this fight literally. This is my strategy I'm gonna show you guys. We're gonna summon it. We're gonna fly up here And we're just gonna spam the right click cuz it homes. I'm spamming my right click, baby Whoa! I don't know how to say ember breathing in Japanese. Kagebu! Bro, please. Just die. Give me a new breathe up. Nice! Unfortunately, beating the Queen Slime didn't actually give us a new breathing style. So we really did have to defeat the mechanical bosses. But 
I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty easy. I farmed some vertebrae and then crafted the mechanical worm summon because obviously I thought, you know, I have some piercing capability with vapor breathing and pretty decent mobility. The destroyer is the most logical option. And I was right because with all the things mentioned above and also traumatizing moments of Fargo's soul mod, I was actually able to defeat the destroyer relatively quickly. Come on. No. What comes next in this mod is absolutely insane. Dare I say it will tear you a new asshole because you might shit yourself in excitement. I walked over to Ren Goku and I opened his shop and I was absolutely shocked to see the amount of new breathing forms that we can now use. Okay, maybe they're ass, Adrian. Maybe they're horrible. You know, let's, uh, who knows? The first one I chose was water breathing. And to test it out, I went to go fight some demons. And oh my God, this sword is absolutely insane. This sword is absolutely broken. It should not be this strong early on in the game. Now, to be fair though, it was taking a while to farm some demons and devils because even though we have a crazy strong weapon, red devils instantly kill me, which is a problem because that's annoying. While I was farming for rank patch upgrades to climb the Demon Slayer ranks, I did want to get Tanjiro's cloak because <laughs> it's pretty goddamn cool. So I went back down into hell to continue farming some demons and devils to finally craft and upgrade my demon patch. After about a solid half hour of goddamn farming, we were finally able to get the banner for the red devil and the red demon. Finally, we can now upgrade our accessories and become even stronger. Finally, we can move on with our lives to the next bosses, but I made a fatal mistake. We need a little more than 12. Oh, wait. <gasps> no! Why did I craft it? What the fuck? When I opened my crafting menu, I instinctively crafted a flame feather. Now, if you didn't know, when you have a quality of life mod on, a flame feather uses the red devil banner, which took me 20 minutes to get. So now I don't have that. I have to do it again. I ended up going back down into hell to continue farming. After also crafting the flame wings, of course, because I didn't want to waste a feather, might as well take it. And it took a while. I'm just kidding. It took about five minutes because the regular demons were actually what was taking the longest to spawn and kill. We're going to make it. We're going to upgrade our little patch 5% melee and speed. Guess what? 10%. But then it doesn't stop there because now it's 15%. Now, how do I get this one? I need a red another one and then another one and then another one and then a, an, and then a, what the fuck and thus i got ready to fight skeletron prime there was absolutely no way we're gonna lose especially with this overpowered sword and i was absolutely correct because it wasn't even a challenge this was a playground fight i was beating up kids at the playground if this was streamed live at a theater i would get banned for child abuse sorry skeletron prime i love you no, I don't. After the Skeletron Prime fight, I went and got a new sword, the Flame Breathing Sword, and immediately challenged the twins because this thing was absolutely nutty. Go ahead, make some hollowed armor if you guys don't mind. All right, Mechanical Eye, let's use Flame Breathing. Yeah, how does it feel to get a taste of your own medicine? There's so many projectiles on the screen, some of the fire isn't loading. Woo! Oh my God, I'm dying. Yo, chill, buddy, chill. Yo, relax, relax. Shit! <laughs> It's just too easy. After having no trouble with the mechanical bosses, I actually needed some money. You see, lots of work in life doesn't always mean lots of money. The problem was these swords costed me the price of a human kidney, and unfortunately, I do not have any more people to take kidneys from. So, of course, I went to go exploit the working class, but instead of exploiting people, I killed the twins over and over again. I then crafted the pickaxe axe and eventually got enough money to buy a small little country town and also all of the new breathing style swords. All right, we're going to buy the wind sword and the beast, I mean, the thunder sword sorry wind and thunder let's see what this does oh my god just summons a goddamn tornado what's the right click what the heck all right what's thunder you literally just fly all right beast breathing what is this swinging right click devour i'd assume it just does a fuck ton of damage for no reason oh my gosh insect breathing oh these are really strong bees holy crap fuck i want to use like all of them bro no i'm not gonna lie these are so fun with all these breathing styles there was no way we were gonna die to plant here like literally no way so i went ahead to go to the jungle to spend a millennia looking for a bulb what that happened yeah uh, i'll take an early christmas present wrapped in benjamins oh never mind it despawned don't worry we crafted our own planetary spawner using quality of life mods and subsequently made a small empty square arena using quality of life mods and fought plantera and even though the fight was going relatively swell it was kind of harder than i thought because i was taking a large cake ass mount of damage oh, oh i'm sorry 
Okay. Now, after defeating Plantera and having a near-death experience, I went straight to Golem. And I'm not gonna lie, this this should be illegal because this was not even a challenge. This was bullying. This was sabotage. This is like taking candy from a baby and then chucking the baby out of the window. Now, before doing the lunar events and challenging the god of Terraria, aka the Moon Lord, I wanted to be as strong as possible. Why? because of the apple cider EO that I mentioned earlier. And in order to do something like that, I needed to slaughter a ton of demons because I wanted to upgrade to the max demon rank. Now, even if I were to get all of the banners to become ridiculously strong, the problem is it's gonna take a really long time. So I formulated a plan. Essentially, I installed this 300 times spawn rate manipulator mod because there was no way I'm gonna wait 75 years for all the devils and demons to spawn. But there's a small problem with that. This is the problem. Yeah, I needed to get a little bit more puppy and a little bit more not squishy. So I I decided to get some vegan armor and turn it into some beetle armor. I then built a little closet in hell and set my spawn point there. So if I died, I could just respawn where I'm supposed to be after I die in real life. But that was just how I started farming these devils and demons. Now, as that's going on, alongside the grind, I went ahead and crafted Tanjiro's outfit, which is just a texture pack of the Mithril skin. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. I also went to go get some cobwebs for the demon patch upgrades. Yes, this looks beautiful. I then took all of the banners that I currently had, upgraded my badge to the Kanoto rank. Let's upgrade our patch. Suki Noe, Hinoto, Hinoe, Kinoto, and we don't have any more banners, but now we have a 45% increase in melee damage and speed. And tested it out against some pirates, which is woo. That's nice. And now, before finishing the badge and ascending to the highest Demon Slayer rank, the Hashira rank, I wanted to kill Duke Fishron. Apparently, according to the patch notes, you can get sound breathing from Duke Fishron. But I think I was lied to because I killed Duke Fishron many times and didn't get it. But luckily for me, this was a video game. So I went ahead and just, you know, did a little genocide to cool off my steaming brain. And finally, I had everything I needed to do to become the highest Demon Slayer rank. A Hashira. A Hashira! 75% increased melee damage and speed. Holy crap, I could feel my arms going numb. With that being said, I mean, pfft. I beat the loot into cultists, stormed through the solar pillar, and did the other remaining pillars. And finally, the Moon Lord came. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a little bit more difficult than I thought. It's still not that difficult, but a little bit more difficult than I thought. Come on! I need to be the ultimate demon slayer. Woo! Don't look at the HP in the top right. After defeating the Moon Lord, I crafted the full set of solar armor and then crafted another celestial sigil. But Adrian, why would you do that? Well, there's actually another boss in this mod, and kind of. His name is Zolgoth. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea who the hell this guy is. Is this guy even a demon slayer? But for some reason, he only does one damage. Okay, wait, we're doing a lot of damage to him. Wait, he's not he's not doing any damage to us. You do nothing to me. We got the jaw of the broken god. Whoa, there's swords sur surrounding us. Whatever the sound golf guy is i had a few more things to do before we complete this mod firstly the slayer mark accessories these things give us crazy buffs in exchange for a few troublesome materials but it wasn't that bad i began farming for the slayer mark materials and it kind of went by faster than i thought honestly anything was faster than the farming of demon banners but hey whatever now quick question before i craft these accessories have you guys ever wondered what it's like to be so strong that you can't control your own powers well if you haven't this is what it looks like sugikini sugikini slayer mark 50 percent melee speed more hp 75 percent increased health regen 50 percent holy crap sorry rengoku actually wait no we can also make the Commodo slayer mark oh my gosh oh my gosh what the fuck Whoa! Putting on both of the Demon Slayer Mark accessories turned me into goddamn Barry Allen the Flash. I'm running at Mach fucking 5. I feel like Sonic the Hedgehog on a sugar rush. But finally, the finale of this mod. If you didn't know, there are three more final breathing styles. Moon breathing, demon moon breathing, and sun breathing. Now, you might be wondering, Adrian, why don't you just get it right now? You seem to be having the power complex. The problem is I couldn't get moon breathing. Like at all. I searched the patch notes and apparently it dropped from Moonlord or Zalgoth, but I farmed these guys like a ton, but they, they just never dropped. So because I couldn't get moon breathing, we couldn't craft the last finale breathing sword. So I'm just going to make the assumption that none of these things will drop. And I'm also just kind of impatient and maybe I need some dream luck, but with the help of quality of life mods, I was able to get all the moon breathing swords that I needed. This is cool. Moon breathing. If only I actually got this legit and it actually dropped. Now, in order to craft the sun breathing, I needed to farm the moon lord. So why not do that using the demon moon breathing art? Please, man. I just... <laughs> demon breathing art. Moon. 
Here it is. What does this do? Oh my God. Oh my. All right, hold up. Oh my gosh, this, it homes. All right, well, let's just. Okay, that might've been a horrible idea, but die, die, die. Oh my gosh, moon breathing. And finally, holy moly, we crafted the sun breathing style, which is the strongest breathing style. Breathing style, sun. Ooh. And that's that. We beat the mod. Actually, there's just one more thing. Blood moon is rising. Now, here's the thing, guys. Before I do the frost moon, my goal wasn't to become a demon slayer. My goal was to become the strongest. And I got a bunch of this blood. It claims to send me to the highest rank. So we're going to drink a little bit of this blood. A lot of it. Yum, 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 yum. Demon god. 75% increased melee. 50% increased everything else. 40%. Holy. But the daylight burns and weakens us. But it's not daytime. It's not daytime. It's nighttime. It's time. Oh my God. Woo! I don't even have to move. Woo! Look at our region. We have the most powerful breathing style. And we're a demon. And that's that. I hope you enjoyed the mod. I, uh, there's a few things I didn't cover, like the demon blood and sound breathing, but I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. Make sure to check out the mod and the texture pack used in the description. And uh, yeah, it's been Adrian, guys.